Hey teachers, I don't know if you feel the same as I do, but teaching writing is not my cup of tea. So here are a couple of writing games and activities that might help. Okay, the activities I'm sharing with you in this video aren't for a particular writing skill or lesson, so feel free to apply them to whatever lesson you find suitable. Let's call the first activity pass or switch or freeze. I'm sorry, I couldn't make up my mind. This activity would work as a great warm up or practice. My lesson was about the cause and effect essay, and I wanted them to brainstorm some ideas in an untraditional way before they start writing. So I gave each student a paper with a particular topic, like these ones. If you have a large class, students can work in pairs or can work in groups. Then I explained that they have to write down one single cause or effect depending on their cards and pass it to the student next to them and on the new card they will do the same the cards kept moving from one student to another till we got you know enough ideas i enjoyed this activity and i guess my student enjoyed it too <laughs> because it encourages them to stay focused on different topics so it wasn't boring at all because writing can be boring it also lets them compare their answers with their peers which makes them get more perspectives and all of that happened in a fun engaging way i tried the same activity but with a different topic i was teaching the students how to write a formal email and i used this activity to make them memorize the elements they should include so i put them into groups and i gave each group a couple of papers like these and i taught them to write a formal email following the structure they already learned you know starting with a good subject line then greeting then the purpose and and all of the good stuff. Here, they had to pay attention to both the structure of the email and the order of the elements. With another group, we had the narrative essay. I set up the context of the essay, a time that you experience something truly frightening. We worked in pairs, so every pair had a large piece of paper, and I told them, now you're going to start narrating your spooky story. But as you write it, at some point, you will hear me say, freeze. And when I say freeze, even if you're in the middle of a word or in the middle of a sentence, you stop writing and transfer your paper to the pair next to you. The students began to write. I checked that everyone has written something before I said freeze for the first time. Then I was like, freeze. Papers were transferred to the next two groups so that everyone's working with another piece of paper with a different story on it. The students finished up their stories. I gave them some time to read, correct, and improve them. And honestly, all the stories deserved an Oscar. Moving on to the second activity, writing postcards. Using postcards in class can be a motivating writing task and it adds a level of stimulation for the students. I have seen this activity online and my students really loved it since they don't have to write too much. And I loved it because it involves a certain level of communication and imagination, which I'm personally fond of. If you can get a stack of postcards, that's awesome. But if you don't have any, you could do just like me and print them on papers or cards and add some lovely pictures. Anyway, if you're teaching kids, I recommend getting them to draw their own pictures instead of printing them out. Ask them to write a postcard to a friend telling them about their imaginary holiday and how the picture relates to it. You can absolutely choose a different context. Once they have written the cards, some of the students read it out loud and at the end, I collect it and and check them up for them. I think I was teaching fragments and run-on sentences and saw what errors were made and prepared a correction slot for the next class. That's pretty it. Thank you for watching, awesome teachers.